can you tell me a little bit about the past 24 hours in Winfield, West Virginia? Well, just everybody's having a hard time with uh, all this water shortage deal. And how have people been having a hard time? No water, can't take a shower, can't cook. Dennis can't make coffee. Do you know anyone who's personally been affected? Yeah, everybody in town. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think about the response to this? Well, as far as I know, I guess they're doing the best they can. Or been a little faster. Yeah. Have you seen much news on it? Not a whole lot. I watched a little bit, but not a whole lot. Yeah. What news did you see? The Channel 3 news. Did you see anything in the national news about it? I read it on the internet there last night. Okay. What do you think about um, how other people are portraying this event? They don't like it either. <laughs> what would you like to see done now? I'd like to see them get the water fixed and get <laughs> back home for everybody. And what about the long term? What would you like to see happen? I just make sure these chemical companies take care of their stuff, stop dumping it in the rivers and the creeks. And How do you think we could do that? I don't have any idea. Yeah. Um, is there anything that you think other people outside of West Virginia should know about this that they don't know already? Well, it could happen to them too. This is easy. <laughs> Do you think that this is just a West Virginia problem or should it be considered a national problem? Well, I think everybody ought to look at it pretty good. It could happen anywhere.